Hello smart civil engineers. I am Engineer Masroor and you are watching Engineering Network YouTube channel. Welcome to class number 15 of Surveying and Leveling course. So in today's video lecture, I am going to solve few numerical problems in which I will show you that how we can calculate area of a field with different intervals between offsets. Because in the last lecture, we studied about area calculation with same interval between offsets, right? So if the interval is changing between offsets, then how we will calculate area of such field, right? So kindly watch this video completely and I am sure that it will help you a lot. Now before we start, if you find this video interesting, then let me know in the comment box. If you find this video informative, then please click on the like button, share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. So let's start. Okay, so the question states that the following offsets were taken from a survey line to a hedge with interval of 5 meter, 10 meter and 15 meter. Find the area between the survey line and the hedge using average ordinate rule, trapezoidal rule, and Simpson rule. Now if you look at the statement of this question, we have three different intervals, okay? One is the 5 meter interval which starts from offset 0 meter to offset 20 meter. Second is 10 meter interval which starts from offset 20 meter to offset 40 meter. And third is the 15 meter interval which starts from offset 40 meter to offset 70 meter, right? So I will name the 5 meter interval as the first section, the 10 meter interval is the second section, and 15 meter interval is third section, okay? So this basically means that I have to calculate area of each interval separately, and at the end, I will add the areas in order to get the total area of the field, right? So in the given data, let's suppose A is the total required area. A1 is the area of the first section in which the interval is 5 meter. A2 is the area of the second section in which the interval is 10 meter. And A3 is the area of the third section in which the interval is 15 meter. D1 is the interval between offsets in the first section which is 5 meter. D2 is the interval between offsets in the second section which is 10 meter. And D3 is the interval between offsets in the third section which is 15 meter. Okay? So this is the data that is given to us in the question. And now let's solve this question. But please, I am requesting you that if you really want to learn it, then please watch it completely. Okay? Now, the first rule is the average ordinate rule, which states that area is equal to n divided by n plus 1 into sum of all ordinates multiplied by d. So, here for first section in which the interval is 5 meters. Number of offsets is 4, which is n. D is 5 meter. Okay? So, A1 is equal to 4 divided by 4 plus 1 into sum of all ordinates in the first section, which is 3.29 plus 4.05 plus 6.23 plus 5.75 plus 4.76 and multiply by 5. Right? So after calculation, the area for the first section will become 96.32 square meter, okay? Similarly for the second section, area is A2 is equal to 2 divided by 2 plus 1 because in the second section in which the interval is 10 meter, we have two number of offsets, okay? So here 2 divided by 2 plus 1 into sum of all ordinates of second section and multiply by 10, right? So after calculation, 
the area for second section will become 95.6 square meter right similarly i will calculate area for the third section as well so a3 is equal to 2 divided by 2 plus 1 and again the number of offsets in the third section is 2 okay so 2 divided by 2 plus 1 into sum of all ordinates in the third section and multiply by 15 okay so after calculation the area in the third section will become 111.5 square meter right now i have find out the area in each section of this survey line so now let me add these areas in order to get the total area of the field okay so the total area is equal to 96.32 which is the area of first section plus 95.6 which is the area of the second section plus 111.5 which is the area of the third section and the total area will become 303.42 square meter right so according to average ordinate rule the total area of the survey line is 303.42 square meter. Okay. Next is the trapezoidal rule. So the trapezoidal rule states that D into average of the first and last ordinate into sum of the remaining ordinates. Right. So here for the first section in which the interval is 5 meter, A1 is equal to 5 into average of first and last ordinate and if you look at the first section of this question the first ordinate is 3.29 and the last ordinate is 4.76 right so here 3.29 plus 4.76 divided by 2 and then i will add the remaining ordinates of the first section okay so the area of the first section will become 100.30 square meter, right? Similarly, the area in the second section in which the interval is 10 meter is equal to 10 into average of first and last ordinate of the second section, which is 4.76 plus 4.32 divided by 2 and then i will add the sum of the remaining ordinates in the second section okay so the area in the second section is equal to 98 square meter right and similarly the area in the third section in which the interval is 15 meter is equal to 15 into average of first and last ordinate of the third section which is 4.32 plus 2.91 divided by 2 and then I will add the sum of the remaining ordinates which is 3.29 okay so the area of the third section will become 113.10 square meter right now in order to get the total area of the field I will add these three areas okay so the total area is equal to 100.30 which is the area in the first section plus 98 which is the area in the second section plus 113.10 which is the area in the third section and the total area will become 311.40 square meter right so the total area of the field using trapezoidal rule is 311.40 square meter. Next is the Simpson rule. Now we know that according to the Simpson rule, area is equal to D divided by 3 into X plus 2O plus 4E. Okay. Now for the first section in which the interval is 5 meter, X is equal to sum of the first and last ordinate in the first section which is 3.29 plus 4.76 and x will become 8.05 meter right o stands for odd ordinates okay so 2o is equal to 2 into 6.23 because in the first section 
we have only one odd ordinate remaining. Okay, so 2O is equal to 12.46 meter. 4E is equal to 4 into sum of the even ordinates in the first section. So 4E is equal to 4 into 4.05 plus 5.75 which is equal to 39.2 meter. Okay, so area in the first section is equal to 5 divided by 3 into 8.05 which is x plus 12.46 which is 2o plus 39.2 which is 4e and after calculation the area of the first section will become 99.52 square meter okay similarly in order to get the area of the second section i will again calculate the value of x 2O and 4E for the second section as well. Okay. So X for the second section is equal to 4.76 plus 4.32 which are the first and last ordinates of the second section and it will become 9.08 meter. 4E is equal to 4 into 5.26 which is the only even ordinate in the second section. Okay. So 4E is equal to 21.04 meter, right? And in the second section, there is no odd number, okay? So the area in the second section is equal to 10 divided by 3 into 9.08 plus 21.04. And the area in the second section will become 100.40 square meter, right? Similarly, for the third section, x is equal to 4.32 plus 2.91 which is equal to 7.23 meter. 4e is equal to 4 into 3.92 which is the only even ordinate in the third section. So 4e is equal to 15.68 meter. Okay and there is no odd ordinate in the third section. So the area in the third section is equal to 15 divided by 3 into 7.23 plus 15.68 and the area in the third section will become 114.55 square meter, right? Now to calculate the total area of the field using Simpson rule, I have to add these three areas, okay? So the total area is equal to 99.52 plus 100.40 plus 114.55 and the total area by Simpson rule will become 314.46 square meter, right? So the total area of the field by Simpson rule is 314.47 square meter, right? So this is how we can easily calculate the area of any field in chain survey if there is more than one interval between offsets. Okay, so I hope you would find this video informative and it will be very really helpful for you if you watch this video completely. So I request you that please like this video, share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel then please click on the subscribe button. And also make sure to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. See you in the next video.